Hi everyone, so XVPen gave me a review copy of their Deco Pro Small. This video will be both a review and a time lapse video. I'm recording some of this stuff after two weeks of use, so you're gonna have to excuse the dog hair. Uh, the tablet came pretty quickly, and the box was really sturdy. Right out of the box, this is what's inside. So right off the bat, we have the Deco Pro itself. It's got a really nice weight to it that doesn't feel too light, it's very slim, has a very nice matte finish. Feels like one of those fancy silicone phone covers, and also it's bigger than the small tablets I'm pretty used to. Here are the buttons, all customizable, but I think my favorite part of it is the wheel. I wish I could feel it, it's like smoother than my face after a skincare routine. You can use it to zoom in and out of the program of your choice, and it also functions as a scroll wheel, like on a browser or just generally on, on your computer. Uh, the model also comes with its own Cool Artist Glove TM, for you feel professional TM. There are also these tiny USB adapters that are meant to be used on Android devices, so you can use a tablet with them, but we're an Apple household, so I wasn't able to test them out. Now the pen holder, it's one of my favorite things, so the pen is very snugly slotted in there, it's battery free, so you don't have to worry about charging it, it's very light, lighter than this antique pen. And at the top of the pen case, there are a bunch of extra nibs, and there's a slot for you to easily remove them as well. And the bottom cap also functions as a pen holder, because why not? It's smart design, baby! And like, it just felt like receiving my college diploma again, but it's actually useful. <laughs> okay, so time-lapse time. But I'll talk about my process trying to install the drivers because honestly the hardware's functionality is completely fine, like the hardware works perfectly fine on its own. I had no issues there, but it was the software that got very finicky, and it kind of put me off working with a tablet for about like two days. Um, to fully disclose, I've been using a Wacom Cintiq for about six years now, which is why my setup is a little cursed because I was using my Cintiq as a monitor with a Clip Studio on, and I was using the Deco Pro to draw on a Cintiq, it felt really weird, um, but you gotta do it. Like, I, I'm really used to like a two-monitor setup, so I had to make do. Admittedly, I also haven't been using like pen tabs for, again, six years, so this is a pretty fun way to revisit the feeling of using one again. Um, my laptop is a MacBook Pro Retina display from 2015, and I'm one of those people who never updates to the new operating system because one, I'm too lazy to back my files up, and two, it messes up a lot of Wacom drivers based on what a lot of people say the day after an update comes out. So long story short, I still run on OS X El Capitan, which is 10.11. So on the XP Pen driver download page, their driver is meant to be compatible with 10.10 upwards to 10.15 Catalina, so I did completely uninstall all of my Wacom tablet drivers by the way, so I completely made sure that wasn't the issue. The first time I installed the compatible drivers, I got weird dots at the starts and ends of the strokes, and the pen pressure wasn't working in Photoshop, and I also had like really weird issues with the mouse, so the mouse tended not to register and the click wasn't registering, or sometimes the mouse just wouldn't move at all, and I have a habit of going back to my laptop's keyboard and mouse whenever I reply to messages or chats, so this is pretty frustrating and I've had to force a shutdown about five times before I brought the issue up with XPPen. What's great though is that XPPen was very very responsive to my complaints. They sent me an older driver that wasn't available on their website, it solved the pen pressure issue, but the hover issue remained. This time though, the click was properly registering, just that things wouldn't get highlighted on the screen and I couldn't click and drag. Um, XP Pen sent me another driver and my issues went away for the most part, though the hovering click and drag issue would randomly come back. Nothing I'm start couldn't fix, and it didn't really hinder my workflow, so I didn't really like bother with that, so I was like, you know what, they've worked hard enough. It's a busy time. I'll let them go. Um, so I've used the tablet for about two weeks and it was pretty smooth. I really like using it. I like the feel of the tablet in my hand. I like I like the scroll wheel. I like the pen. It just felt great overall.
it may have just been that I didn't play with the settings enough, but my line quality was very different in terms of configure and pen pressure. Since I was used to my own settings on my Cintiq, I really, really like the scroll wheel. Like I said, I will not stop talking about the scroll wheel. It's so nice. It's so smooth. Um, though I really should get used to using the buttons, since I'm still very used to keyboard shortcuts, and that's why I have Yowie Pins. Um, I was able to work on a number of commissions while using the tablet, which was like pretty neat. I was kind of scared about um, letting go of my Cintiq for at least a couple of weeks to test this tablet out for the review. But I found that like after reawakening my muscle memory from, t from when I was 13 years old, it, it works fine. I really, I really generally enjoyed working with it. Like the, the pen itself is it's so nice. I just really like working on it. Um, for a professional tablet that's under $100, I think it's a fantastic tool with really neat functionalities and the accessories that came with it are really, really neat. I really like the pen holder. I really liked just the pen and the wheel. It's cool. It's, it's, it's just very, very cool. With Clip Studio Paint releasing on Android, I think it's a very worthy investment if you're on Android. Um, my issues with the tablet are mostly from the software, though I think I'm willing to chalk it up to me not having updated my laptop in a really long time, but I'll readily go back to my Cintiq now because I've used it for so long, and it's tried and tested, so much less stress. But, um, Otherwise, honestly, awesome tablet. I really recommend it. Thank you so much to XP Pen for sending me a review copy of the Deco Pro Small and for helping me out in my software issues. You should really go check them out. They're offering industry-level tablets for a very competitive price, and the quality overall, from what I can tell from the Deco Pro alone, is awesome. So check them out. Thank you so much for watching.